what does this mean so this is called as recursive language okay so what does this mean that means so let us write it formally so let l be a recursive language so l let l be a language and m represents a turing machine machine that accepts l okay so i can say if for any string for any string how for any string w which belongs to l m accepts the string and for any string w1 which does not belongs to l m rejects the string then i can say then i can say l is recursive understood so the only criteria that is uh, so uh, now there is another language called as let me tell you called recursively enumerable language enumerable language okay so how this uh, so what is the definition of this language so any string so if a language is recursively enumerable that means there exists a turing machine m that accepts the strings of this language but for other strings which does not belongs to this language the turing machine may halt or may go into an infinite loop i do not know that okay so that is the basic difference between a recursive so so a language is recursively enumerable so why it is so called enumerable because i can create a enumerator that can generate the strings of this language okay that is why it is called enumerable so recursively enumerable language is recursively enumerable if all the, there exist a turing machine m that accepts the words of this language and for any word that does not belong to this language m may or may not halt understood okay it may enter into an infinite loop i do not know okay now if it halts then what will happen that means it will reject that string any string that does not belongs to l and if the machine m halts for that string that will, that means it will reject that string that means that word will belong to a recursive language understood recursively enumerable language also contains recursive language because because uh, because of this uh, sentence because the turing machine may or may not halt if it halts that means that word becomes a becomes a part of a recursive language because there exists a turing machine which always holds for that language okay so now let us uh, give some quiz questions that is
So let me write it down. You people just have to answer yes or no and why. Okay. So question number one. Suppose L is a recursively enumerable language. Okay. So can I say that there exist infinite number of Turing machines such that so infinite number of Turing machines I can write M1, M2, Mn such that this language is accepted by M1 as well as M2 as well as M3 can I say this tell me for a given recursively enumerable language there exist infinite number of Turing machines that accepts that language true or false it is the answer is true because I can just build another Turing machine from a given machine by changing the behavior of those states that do not contribute to the final state that means I can uh, understood so so for any yeah. la language suppose M1 accepts this string of this language L now for any other language that for any other words that does not belongs to L now my M, uh, M1 uh, no specific behavior is given for M1 okay it, it it can either halt or it can go into an infinite loop now by changing the behavior by the transition functions for those states I can either make one uh, state machine reject one input or it may go into an infinite loop okay so this statement is true for a given recursively enumerable language I can create infinite number of Turing machines that can exist that can accept the words of this language understood yes sir okay now question number two suppose L is a recursive language Okay, <coughs> and M0, M1, M2, Mn are Turing machines that accepts L. So, can I say that Mi, Mi represent what? is the ith Turing machine so mi will always halt true or false so okay. l huh? true. why so because uh, the fact that it is a recursive language so, that, so uh, what is the what what is the definition of the recursive language? The definition of the recursive language is that if there exists a Turing machine that accepts all the words of the language and rejects the remaining words, okay, that is a recursive language. Now, now for this language, I have several Turing machines. I cannot say that all these Turing machines will halt. Okay, it will accept the words of this language L. But out of this, all these Turing machines, only one will halt. If if any one will halt, then I can say that L is recursive. Hello? Hello?
ஹலோ